turn this over to my um, jet lagged colleague, Representative Takuda. Thank you, Glenn. And thanks for calling me out on the fact that I'm still six hours behind right now. Uh, but who's who's keeping track? Um, thank you again for including me in, in this press conference. And uh, it's hard to follow Glenn's story, but it is truly a testament that his story, unfortunately, is not unique. There are so many Americans across this country that it, had it not been for that health care coverage they received through the um, Affordable Care Act, could likely not live to see another day. And so today is truly important. And, uh, you know, they often say about Hawaii, lucky you live Hawaii, right? And they're not just talking about the wonderful people, the beautiful beaches, the great food. Uh, it really comes down, in my humble opinion, to the fact that we prioritize health care. Hawaii is about being healthy and taking care of our people like family. You know, nearly 40 years ago, before the enactment of the Affordable Care Act, Hawaii became the first state in the country to set minimum health standards and coverage for workers. The Prepaid Health Care Act, which some of, you, some of you may be familiar at, with passed in 1974 and guaranteed employer-sponsored health coverage for most employees in Hawaii and capping their premiums at 1.5% of their pay. You know, I served in the Hawaii State Senate for 12 years. I walked door to door to countless people, and I will tell you that there's not many people who don't know about the Prepaid Health Care Act in Hawaii. They credit it with the fact that in many cases it has saved their lives, kept them healthy. Uh, in many ways, our Prepaid Health Care Act was the ACA before the ACA. And on March 23rd of 2010, the rest of the country finally caught up with Hawaii and figured out something we knew all along. Health care matters. Taking care of our people like family, it matters. And the enactment of the ACA put in place comprehensive reforms that have since made health care affordable, as we know, prohibitive insurers from discriminating against people with pre-existing health conditions and insured women are guaranteed essential services. You know, Hawaii's prepaid health care act was enact enacted nearly half a century ago. And today, Hawaii has some of the lowest uninsured rates in the country with under 4% uninsured in Hawaii. And we remain one of the healthiest states, happiest states in the country as well. Uh, at the same time, I will tell you, representing a district that is 96% rural, and we've got some of the most challenged um, communities in the country, health care still is an issue. But what we know when we sit down at tables together and talk about this is that the ACA has and will continue to make a difference in their ability to access care and coverage. Um, I once sat down in a park on Lanai and an old man told me it's really difficult to be born and to die here. And when we talked more about what we could do together to make it a place where they could really call this home for themselves and their children, it became evident that through the Affordable Care Act provisions and what we are doing here in Congress, the fight we have, we would be able to make sure that generations of Hawaii residents, residents across this country, can rely on the care that they need to really see a life for themselves in their communities and this country. And so knowing what we know about Hawaii's example and 40 years ago, what we did through the prepaid health care act and the results that it's had on our community, let's just imagine what this country could look like in 40 years. How many millions more Americans will live longer, healthier, and happier lives? And all because comprehensive health care reforms we made 13 years ago with the enactment of the ACA are continued to be fought for and, and possible. So thank you for including me in this conversation. And we look forward to many more years of the ACA. Mahalo.